Hello, my name is Teacher Bell and welcome to another tips, review, and tutorial. So for today, we will be discussing when to use Screencast-O-Matic over Screencastify. And at the end of the video, I will tell you which one do I like better. Please don't forget to hit like, subscribe, and ring the bell. So I have been using Screencastify to record all my video tutorials and some of my lessons for my students and I find it really great. But now I'm trying to test this Screencast-O-Matic and to see how is it different from Screencastify. I have a video tutorial on Screencastify. It was comprehensive if you want to check it out. The title is An Easy Way to Record Your Video Tutorial. You might be wondering when do we use Screencast-O-Matic over Screencastify if somehow they have similar features. So one here is you can record longer videos because the free version of Screencastify has only five minutes. For the free version of Screencast-O-Matic, you can also have your narration just like what we are doing now but without annotating tools. So if you want to have the writing tools, you can purchase the premium account. It records screen of our mobile devices. And this feature is not applicable for screen castify. It has a feature of an auto zoom. So later I'll show you how you can auto zoom in screen castomatic. And this is what I like the most. It has a channel for video sharing and I'll tell you more of this feature later. And it has the option to save it directly as mp4 without exporting it, which is not a feature of Screencastify. So this is just a model I made for you to easily compare Screencastify and Screencastomatic. And this is also a nice feature for Screencastomatic, but it comes with the premium account. There is a feature that records the computer audio and your voiceover simultaneously. Before I show you the live demo of the Screencast-O-Matic, let me just show you the similarities of the recording options. They both come in three different options. You can just record your screen, you can just use your webcam, or you can embed a webcam on your screen. It's the same with Screencastify. Okay, so let's download Screencast-O-Matic. You can either log in and launch it from their website or when you click this one, start recording for free, it will prompt you to download the app on your computer. So once you created your account, you click on my videos. If you want to start recording, you can click this video icon. So launch recorder. So the border here is what allows you to capture which screen do you want to record so let's try this it's movable okay and once you are ready you can either choose which screen you want to record so the maximum time is 15 minutes so let's try both screen cast matic doesn't allow you to record it when you are on their platform so i'm using screen castify to show you the tutorial so once you are ready you click record and it will prompt you when to begin so as soon as you see go you are now ready and then you can go ahead and switch from tab to tab whichever you want to record while doing a video tutorial so let's go back to here so this is the auto zoom i have mentioned earlier when you click on this one it zooms you out during your video tutorial and when you click this one, it resizes down and Screencastify doesn't have that feature. All you can do is to drag the corners to make it bigger. So once you are done, you just click the pause button and click done if you are ready to save your file. It will ask you where you want to save it. Do you want to go straight to editing your video to share it or save and upload it so when you click on the save video option it will give you this 
options to save on your computer, upload to Screencast-O-Matic or upload to YouTube. But we will upload it to Screencast-O-Matic so I can show you how the channel works. So when you click that, it will allow you to change the name just like in Screencastify. So let's do this as demo and publish. So once you publish it and upload it to your Screencast-O-Matic account, you can see your video on this side. So this is what we have recorded earlier. So when you click it, you can see the video details here. Okay, so this is the channel I wanted to show you. This is like a YouTube platform where you can upload your videos and share it straight to your parents and you don't have to change any permission since it's not coming from our Google Drive. So when you go to channel, you can add new channel. So let's say this will be for your math videos. So for visibility, you have to make it public so that anyone with the video can watch it. And then save channel. As you can see, I have zero videos on this channel. So to add that, you go to videos, look for the video that you want to add, and then click the three dots, channels, and then you can click which one you want to put this video. So let's go to math, and then done. And if you want to add this video as well, go to the three dots, channels, and click math video and then done so when you go to channel you will see your compiled videos for math and then you can share this channel so that your students can access all the videos from here so to do that you can go to the share button copy the link you also have the option to upload it to google classroom but you have to be logged into google classroom before you do that so let's try. So choose class, tutorial, videos, and assign it. Okay, so if you want to view, this is how it will look like in your classroom. So you go to classwork, and then you can find it here, math tutorial videos. And once they click the link, they will be redirected to your Screencast-O-Matic channel and they can have access to the videos. And the good thing about this is you can track how many are watching your videos in your channel. As you can see, the views are zero since no one has viewed it yet. Okay, so those are the features of Screencast-O-Matic. And the last thing we will discuss is how to download and use Screencast-O-Matic on our mobile device. So this is a sample that I have recorded earlier from my phone. So when you go to your app store, look for this icon and then download it. Once it's done, you open it and you will see a record button on here. You have the option to record your voice as well or just the screen of your phone. So once you click that, you start recording your mobile device screen. So let's say you want to record a video tutorial or how to log in in Google Classroom from the phone. You can show it like this. Once you are done, you go back to this red bar at the top, click that and click stop. And it will automatically save to your photos. So that's the screen customatic features. So my verdict is in terms of navigation and simplicity, I would rather go with Screencastify. But in terms of more advanced feature, like let's say the channel, I love the channel of the Screencast-O-Matic app. And of course, the Screencast-O-Matic comes in 15 minutes free video recording. And I like that over the Screencastify, which is just five minutes. But overall, I think I like the Screencast-O-Matic better. But again, it will depend on your context of instruction and of course your preference. So let me know which app you want better for our teachers to see. Thank you for watching and have a great day. Bye-bye.